Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you my blooming box. Um, it's a really cute little box. As you can see, it has this little belly band of ribbon round and if I slide it off, you will see that this is the top of the box. Um, unfortunately, I've left it in the sun. <laughs> so I have got a little bit of a uh, line there where the sun caught it, which obviously is a lesson to everybody. Um, but yeah, it's a super cute little box with this little belly band ribbon that just goes around it um, and I'm going to show you how to make it. So then to start off with you're going to need two pieces of Whisper White cardstock that are seven and three quarters by four and a quarter. Um, I'm going to use my trimmer um, to measure these because there are some odd measurements on these. So two Whisper White seven and three quarters by four and a quarter 19.7 by 11 centimeters. On the short side we're going to score at half an inch and three inches which will be one and seven and a half centimeters. We're then going to rotate and then <clears throat> sorry we're going to rotate it so that the thinner end is at the bottom and then we're going to score the long side at one and a quarter inch, three and five eighths of an inch four and seven eighths of an inch and then seven and a quarter. All of these measurements will be on my blog so don't worry if you're missing them now and then I'm going to do exactly the same for the second piece. So again seven and three quarters by four and a quarter, 17.9 by 11. The short side we score at half an inch, Ooh, my little score has come out there, half an inch and three which is one centimetre and seven and a half and then rotate anti-clockwise so that your thin piece is at the bottom and we're going to score at one and a quarter, three and five eighths, four and seven eighths, and seven and a quarter and in centimetres those are three, seven, ten point three and sixteen point three. Okay now I've made a small error here because I should have done my stamping first <laughs> but it doesn't matter we can still do it now. So I've got some blocks here and I'm using the lovely basket of blooms stamp and as you can see by the stained colours, I've already picked the flowers and leaves that I was going to use anyway, because they've already got these stained marks on them. And I'm simply using our current ink colours. So I've got Bumblebee, Gentle Madness, Misty Moonlight and just Jade. OK, so I'm going to go with Misty Moonlight as my largest flower on this one. And I'm literally just going to stamp randomly on all of these pieces of Whisper White. So as I said, it's just random, oops, random stamping. That one's not very good, is it? We'll have to make sure that image goes to the back. So that's that one. Then Magenta Madness. I'm going to go with this flower. And again, just random stamping all over and the same on the second sheet and then give them a quick clean and I've got bumblebee and again just really filling in gaps on this one and the same on the second sheet. And then finally, I'm going to use just jade for the leaf. Again, just wherever there's a gap really now, just fill it in those leaves. Don't forget to do some 
off the edge, although not like me and miss them completely. <laughs> yeah, just fill in the gaps with leaves. And then, put another one there, give that a clean. Oh, comes. Okay, let's get those out of the way. So now I've got those all stamped up, I'm going to fold and burnish those score lines. Thought I'd missed one then. Both pieces exactly the same. Now I've got ink on my thumb too. <laughs> so fold and burnish and then on your thin edge here we're literally going to work our way along just cutting wedges either side of the vertical score lines and then when you get to the last square here we're just going to take one there and then cut that one away okay so i'm going to do that again on this side so just cutting our little wedges all the way along and then the last one get rid of completely there we go so you have two pieces now that have the notches out of the bottom and then at the top we're simply going to cut down all of these ones and then just cut away the last piece at the end there same again here cut down them all and then cut away the last one here Fabulous. Okay, so once you've done that, flip it over and the small side, we're going to pop some adhesive on all of these tabs and simply fold them in. They're just acting as reinforcements. Same again on this piece. Fold them all in and I'm just pressing them down with my bone folder to make sure they stick. Back over again and then we can just add some stuff to my bit of paper there. I'm just going to fold these over and line those up and then we just fold the tops in and then obviously just add some adhesive on here to create the top and again if you want to just pop it down on the desk and press it inside you can do but there is your bit bottom or your lid so I'm just going to repeat on this one so add some seal to there fold it over bring it back and then fold them over and add some adhesive onto there Again, press it down if you need to. That's that part done, simple. You then need a piece of coloured cardstock that is seven and a half by five and a quarter or 19 by 13 and a half. Again, I'm gonna use my trimmer on here. You only need to score on the long side. And so with my long side on the top, just move that out of the way, I want to score at one and three sixteenths of an inch, three and a half, which is why I need to use my trimmer, four and eleven sixteenths, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then seven inches. 
and in centimetres that works out as 3, 9, 12 and 18. So a lot simpler if you're using centimetres. And then we're just going to fold and burnish those score lines. And then if you want to, you don't have to, just trim some wedges off that corner. Again, add some adhesive, fold it over, and that's that part, simple. Then all I want to do is decide which is going to be the lid and which is the base. Obviously, they're both the same. I'm going to go with this one, and I'm just going to slide it in there. And then very gently with my nail, I'm just tiny score because I want to grab my silicon mat, which is wonderful for this, and just go all the way around with some adhesive. You can use wet glue if you like, if you feel better using that. And then take that off there and this one now make sure I've got the back facing the back because you've got the join here and the seam there and then I'm just going to slide this inside pop it down and then with my bone folder inside just press down all the sides just to get that adhesive to stick and there's your box and then you just simply slide your lid on. Now, for some strange reason, I have a very narrow <laughs> opening on this one. But never mind, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so then all you need is to grab your ribbon. And I'm using the gorgeous Misty Moonlight in colour ribbon. And I'm just wrapping it round the box here. Oops, and tying or trying to tie a cute little bow. We'll see how cute and how well this works. So tie that up. Okay, not so bad, not so bad. Trim those ends. And, and then the final part, which is really simple, I have some blue, sorry, some Misty Moonlight and some Whisper White um, card here. I have the lovely, lovely labels Pick a Punch. And I have my Itty Bitty Greetings sentiment. So I'm going back with the scent with love as I used before. And I'm going to use my Misty Moonlight because that's what I'm coordinating everything with. And I'm just going to stamp that right in the centre there. You'd probably think, why on earth is she wasting so much ink? Not so much card, but you'll see. So these have grooves for different measurements. So this one, I'm going to go with half a centimetre. Sorry, not, is it half a centimetre? I'm having a moment now. Bear with me. It's not. It's half an inch. So we have half, three quarters and one inch. So I'm going with half an inch. So originally I stamped there. So I'm going to guesstimate and trim that bit. And then I'm going to go this way. I've got adhesive on my trimmer as well now, which isn't helpful, is it? Go this way up to the half inch mark and then cut that way. And that way, I now have my sentiment, albeit a bit low, but it's just where I want it. I'm gonna trim off these ends because I don't need it to be quite so long. And then, while I've got it, I'm gonna do the blue, the misty moonlight at three quarters of an inch. That end wasn't straight, that's why I turned it round. So three quarters of an inch, and that gives me the layering that I need. Okay, and then I'm going to trim this one down, but I want it just to be a, 
fraction longer. So I'm going to go to there, bring in the delightful punch, and then with this one, it just fits in the groove. Push it as far as it will go. Now, because this is quite short and it is a struggle to fit, I'm just going to use a little post it on the end so that when I push this in and make sure it is lined up because it's not so easy when it gets this small not too bad it then punches that part out and then my misty moonlight goes in and this is a bit longer so it will fit and you can hold up to the end there we go bit of adhesive on the back of that one and centre it on your card. Now, if you find, like me, that it's actually quite a lot longer than I needed, now I've stuck it on, I can trim it and pop it back in, making sure it's straight, and do it again. And that will just trim a little bit off. It's not the best one, I don't think. And I'm going to have to use mini dimensionals on this one because my gap on the box is so small. But then you just simply pop this over there. I'm going to push that lid very slightly just so as I can make sure that these adhere to the ooh, Knight of Navy and make sure it's level as well, obviously. There we go. And that albeit slightly different, <laughs> is your box. Hope you like it. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.